really going over the benefits of Android 2.2 on the Transform. Uh, uh, they're working on it because right now the screen is really small because it was ported from the uh, you know Samsung Intercept and the Intercept has a smaller screen than the Transform so things look small. I, uh, I put Launcher Pro in here just just because I what they have a new they updated it where it's like transitions like ADW but alright so let's get started first of all flash player I know a lot of you are going to be, you know, wanting that. Well, my buddy has a, uh, a Droid 1, and his has Flash Player. So he took his APK, backed it up, and sent it to me, and there it is. Dove Flash Player version 10.1.6.1.6.8. I'm guessing it's the newest. It was whatever was on his phone. And then I installed it. When you try to open up Flash content, it just crashes. Like going to Chrome the phone. I've been sending myself links all day. Takes you to the mobile site. You can go to desktop. And it hangs right here. It vibrates and then it crashes. I guess it crashes, I don't know. But that yeah, it vibrated and now it's gonna take me to whatever I was doing last. So, yeah, so flash is a no go. And I, I cleared everything too. So it's not because something needs cleared. And now we'll go to Chrome to phone. Alright, so say you wanted to download something like or view it on your phone. You click on the Froyo link or any link you want. And then right here is the Mediafire link. Well, you don't want to type that in on your phone. Or you see a link and it's like, go to this link from your phone and you have to use your phone to go to it or whatever. You right click on it. And I got send this link to Android. Oh, the browser's gonna crash again. I need to turn off flash. Oh, here's another thing, okay. We'll go to Google. And now they got instant beta. You turn it on, and when you search for something, it's instantaneous. So that's pretty cool. That works. And it's an Android 2.2 feature. It's actually more like a JIT feature because on my moment I had a custom ROM and I could do instant beta. But we'll go to Google. And normally when you change your ROM or you flash stock or something, you've got to take this, copy it, go to settings. Then you go to default page or set home page. Now you have a thing where it says use current page. So instead of holding down on here, you go to select all and then go to paste. You just hit set current page. Okay. And now home is Google. So that is pretty awesome. I like that. But I'll send that link to my phone again. Send this link to Android. See, I disabled Flash and now it's working. So that's a benefit of Android 2.2. The new Gmail. Let me show you the new Gmail. Now there's arrows. 
you can go through your conversations. Nice and easily. So that's a that's a not awesome benefit too. That and also you have like the important and not important. You that works on here too. There's also a sprint hotspot feature. And you click on it. It turns on, but then it exits out because it says you do not have it, you know, right there. You do not have permission. That's why you need to root your phone and install Wi-Fi Tether. Just Google that. It's the first thing. Apps to SD. Let's talk about that for a second. Applications. Manage applications. Now you have this little thing right here on SD card. And I have Angry Birds installed on my SD card. And Angry Birds actually plays pretty well. The new YouTube's on here too that you need 2.2 to use. Well, you don't have to, but to get it like by default, the new YouTube's on here. But since this is, you know, Android 2.2 Alpha, uh, like if you click on something, the video doesn't load. I'm not sure if it'll load with Wi Fi, but it does not load with 3G. So that's that's a um that's a bummer. And voice search that you need 2.2 to use, like androidandme.com. Well, it googled it. It actually brought like the website up. It didn't just google it. But anyway, So I've gone over the Google Instant Search in the browser, the voice search, the new YouTube, the hotspot. You can set your home page with a button now instead of copying and pasting the URL. They got the hotspot, Flash Player, and Chrome to phone and the new Gmail. So it's uh if I'm leaving something out, please let me know in the comments and I will try it. I'll play Angry Birds, but in another video. Uh, right now, there's not root, so apps like Quick Boot, you have no root access. So, but that will come soon. Just give Joey Krim and the boys some time, and they'll do it. They will do it. If it's Android, it will be rooted. Like the HTC Shift, uh, they got XDA, SDX, Cyanogen. Everybody's trying to root that phone. HTC has some kind of new protection on it. it. makes it a little bit harder. And I tried Z4 root, but it won't give you root on here. It just sits on this running exploit screen forever. And it doesn't move. So, that's it. I mean... I'll talk about bugs in a later video. Like one I'll show you right now is volume down is volume up. And volume up is volume down. There are other ones, but I'll show those in another video. Because those will be eventually be worked out. And I guarantee you, all these bugs will be fixed by the guys at SDX like Vampire Foe way before Samsung releases Froyo. And I'll bet you they're like pissing all over themselves right now. You can't have Froyo on your transform we were never gonna release that you can't have it uninstall it now yeah the thing is they don't want you to have Froyo they want you to buy a new phone that will never have Froyo so <laughs> it's yeah don't get a phone that has Samsung on it unless you don't mind having Android 1.6 or Android 2.1 for the rest of your life if you know if you don't mind that then why not but that's just my opinions on Samsung. My next phone will not be made by them. I can guarantee you that. And I've had an intercept, a moment, and a transform. I want something that's going to actually get Android 2.3 and Android 3.0 and all the other updates. This phone came out in October 2010 and we will have 
Broyo by the end of the year. Uh, here it is January and I have to install it myself to actually get it. Because, oh it's coming, oh it's coming. Yeah, I guarantee you by December 2011 we'll still be saying that. It's gonna come. Yeah, just like Froyo's actually coming for the Samsung Epic. <laughs> I'd like to see that. That'd be, that'd be something they pull out of their ass. Thanks. Bye.